of this whole car taken apart simply because of well, let me take this off uh the air control valve it's just the idles were going crazy and then might as well um i cleaned out the throttle body it's right here so when i took it off all this gasket's old so i went ahead and bought a new one i'm gonna go ahead and install it hopefully the idles um get fixed because it's been driving me nuts since the idles just going constantly going up and down and then I'm also gonna bleed out the uh, cooling system just a bit because I spilled quite a bit because I opened, <laughs> I unplugged it. I uninstalled the air control valve when it was hot so it just sprayed all over, sprayed all over the place. The test drive went a little too well making good boost enough for it to pop the coupler off right there I don't know if you guys can see it it popped off right there you don't have a jack stand just use use the little driveway to fucking get under there and fix it I think the differential just took a dump on me already. I can, this thing is loud. I'm just trying to make it home right now. As, I'm like a block away from the house. Yeah, she's gone, man. <laughs> oh well, time to buy a new one. It is the next day after I uh, heard the differential break. <sighs> tired so i'm doing this in my driveway <laughs> with a jack see if uh i'm almost done so i unbolted the drive shaft the mounts the rear mounts uh i'll record once i drop it that way we um i can check out what what broke but for now i haven't recorded everything because it is hard doing it by yourself especially dropping the diff. I had to remove the V-band in the back of the exhaust so I can drop the exhaust just a little bit so I can get to remove this uh, axle. The French was finally out. This gear that goes in here, I think that one and the ring gear are broken i'll crack it open tomorrow take it to my tuner hopefully we were able to save it we couldn't save the other one the other one was just shattered we'll see about this one <laughs> 